So it's moving day today. I thought I'd take some time to walk through some things that I did on the house before we move and I can't show you uh, because these things are staying. Uh, so let me walk you through our shed and our garage and see what I did. Wrap it all. Let's go. So this is the shed I built. This is a Oh, sorry, the sun. So this is a 10 by 20 shed. Originally it was supposed to be 10 by 10, but I just couldn't stop. I think it's 12 feet tall. It's got a main level and then the mezzanine. She decided to move three quarters through the build of this, so I didn't finish everything, but I got it pretty nice. <clears throat> so I did the fiberboard siding, which is actually kind of nice, a little labor intensive, but not bad. Uh, rain gutters. <clears throat> both sides put a window in here sliding window um, <clears throat> nothing on the back <clears throat> there was supposed to be a vent but again I didn't do it uh, <clears throat> and I actually had started an air conditioner but I was gonna run power out here but that didn't happen either <clears throat> and <clears throat> that is as close to the get as the fence as you can get something that is so much work to to put that siding on and the roof <clears throat> so let's go inside put the double doors uh both doors open this is the new people moving in they've already moved a bunch of stuff in <clears throat> um yeah i did oh so the the base frame i built a frame <clears throat> out of metal that's c channel frame on the bottom 12 inches on center, a lot of different ones, a lot of different channels. And then I uh, <clears throat> I also grouted it in. So it's on the concrete for a good majority of this. But then, oh my gosh, this camera's being weird. What the frick is going on? But then, <clears throat> and then it overhangs a little bit because I miscalculate. I didn't miscalculate, but I didn't. Anyways, it works good. <laughs> the base frame is super stout. Oh my gosh, this thing is being weird. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so yeah, so that's the floor. I put three quarter plywood on the ground. <clears throat> right now that is probably worth a million dollars. <laughs> um, 16 inch center studs. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it, the bikes are in the way. Oh my gosh, this is really making me frustrated. Um, <clears throat> I was putting a air conditioning unit right there and heater, one of those ones you put in a, in a hotel room, that kind of thing. <clears throat> I was also planning on sheetrocking it, but that didn't happen either. This is the, this is the Christmas vacation ladder. Except it doesn't slide. I couldn't find one of those. Uh. So originally I planned on this being a, like a nursery area, a garden nursery. So I put the windows in here and they're fully vented. They actually open. Yeah, so these uh, windows open. It's gonna capture the rainwater and pump it back in to use that in the nursery. But that didn't happen either. So, so yeah, we go down here. I made these. I modified these off of a something I bought some from Lowe's. Yep, and these open. There we go. So you can get long things up here. Oh my gosh, tiny dog! Tiny dog is freaking out. The floor up here on the loft is, what is that, half inch? I actually made the trusses, uh, so I get the shape and I get enough height up here. I, I gave it the full treatment. I did not do a roof, a ridge vent, or any kind of turtle vents, because I was gonna just blow through and have the windows and, and over there. So, it's actually super hot up here, since I didn't finish it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
there's the shed that I don't get to use, <laughs> which I got done for the move. So let me take you to the garage and show you the garage. This is what my garage looked like before. There was a lot of ceiling height, um, and I always thought that there was a lot of unused, unused space. The water table is high, so our house is actually built up out of the ground a little bit. So we still have a basement, but it's not really underground. It is, but so our house is abnormally high. So what that did is it gave us a very tall ceiling, as you can see. Um, so I wanted to use that space. So I had a bunch of different ideas. One was a, a platform that lowered down so you could load it up and put it back up there. But safety concern, that one went a bit hard. So I just came up with a mezzanine. So <clears throat> it's just a, it's almost full size of the garage. It covers, actually, let me go down below and I'll show you. So it's the height of, of the garage door opening. Uh, or the bottom of it is the height of the garage door opening, so you don't lose any any height in here. And then our stuff poking down. So, pull a car in. Um, it's, let's see. I, I have this opening here for the stairs going up to the, to the top. And then, and of course I made stairs to go up here. So you didn't have a ladder. And then <clears throat> baluster railing. Oops. <clears throat> and then we did three-quarter plywood on the on the on the floor, and I painted it. Actually, here's what's kind of neat. On the paint on the floor, we have a paint uh, manufacturer just down the street. We just went in, and they have colors they just give you for free, or paint they give you for free, just latex paint. It's it's stuff that people brought back that was the wrong color or something. They just They'd rather give it to you than try and dispose of it. So we got the paint for free. That was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so this is, it's only about four feet of height, but it is it is essentially like having a whole nother garage. It's, it is really nice to put stuff up here. Uh, one thing that I did have to do different, we had to have a new garage door installed. Um, this is a, so instead of the kind that comes up all the way, this one has to go all the way up and over. Um, and it's a different kind of opener. It's actually worked fine. I added some outlets for stuff and whatnot. I added these lights up here. I just did can lights so you didn't hit your head on anything. Um, <clears throat> of course, there's a space over here for the, for the door to come up through. Not enough to fall down through. Not, we, we had never had a problem with it, but I ended up doing this at two other houses in this on the street because we have similar ha similar houses, so they they all wanted it too. So we ended up building. Although they got the improved version, because I I thought of some things as I was doing this. And our neighbor across the street, he actually has a tiny bit more height on his mezzanine, which is kind of nice. All right, so so I added the light switch. So you have lights up there, um, pull up bars, that's just for fun. <laughs> um, here's the coolest part. Garage door openers usually come with that, you know, the little, the little light, you know, when you open the garage door. Well, I didn't like that because of course it's, it's terrible. So what I ended up doing, and this is one, the one unique thing I have, I made a relay system. <clears throat> So what I did is I stole the, the board off of the, the little, let's call it the boob light that comes with the, the garage door. I, I took that out of there. Then what happens is instead of turning on that little light that sits in the middle of your garage, I made it activate all these lights. So when you open the garage, all those lights turn on. Let me show you. Oh, come on. So I can turn them off. Okay, nope, sorry, the light switch was on. <laughs> so I can still turn them on and turn them off. But so if I open the garage, boom, they all come on. And then that garage door only goes up so far. 
or out so far. That was the only thing major we had to change and that cost, that was the big cost of everything. We did this back before lumber prices were gold, so. Another cool thing that's kinda, that's kinda nice, so with this garage door opener, so I can actually shut the lights off by holding that. Um, <clears throat> this, this has a motion sensor, so it'll shut the lights off automatically unless, unless you got the light switch on. But if you walk past the threshold, it'll turn on so if you leave the door open, it's kind of nice. It's kind of a deterrent. It's kind of like a, you know, motion light thing if somebody walks into the door. It does stink though when it's at night and you're out trying to do something and you forget to turn the light switch on and then they turn off and you're stuck out in the dark. That kind of stunk. But on that, it was pretty good. Um, one last thing I built for the garage, which actually was kind of cool. I built these <clears throat> chair mounts for these kind of chairs. <laughs> I was able to hold 10 chairs on those two holders, which was really, really nice and stored them away. I made them out of aluminum deck plate. Um, super stout. I don't know how much you could hold, but it's, it's a lot. <clears throat> so there's, there's the things I did on this house since it's moving day and I shouldn't say it's not moving day. It's been moving day for the last month. Better edit me out of that. <laughs> it's been moving day for the last month. Today is the final day when someone cries a lot. Oh, shut up! <laughs> so those are some of the things I've done to this house since it's moving day, and I won't be able to show you, unless it's awkward and someone's like, what are you doing here? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm put me out there. Uh, and share it, share this, Share the video, show people the cool things that I do. Um, and subscribe, tell people to subscribe. Watch some more videos. Uh, I got some more stuff coming, moving to a new house. And yeah, thanks. Five a row, we're done. Make that like. Oh yes. Come on in, Patrick, and so.